It's March 7th and I'm doing a Black Soldier Fly Egg Incubation Unit update. Uh, we get a lot of Black Soldier Fly eggs and uh, we found that if we just put them in the room, even though the room is 75, 80 degrees, that the compost that the eggs are in is not 75, 80 degrees. So uh, I had this box sitting around with a thermostat and a light bulb in it and we have tinkered with it to get our eggs to work and let me show you how well they're doing right now we're getting about a hundred thousand eggs a day and I would say this one here is about four days old Now the reason for the incubator is to keep the humidity to where their compost doesn't dry out and to keep the eggs warm so that they hatch fast. If it's not quite 75, 80 degrees on the eggs, they will delay their, their hatching. And then what happens is the fruit flies will move in or the compost will dry up or the compost will mold. All three of those are problems for the, for the larva. So we like leaving the eggs in their uh, in their blocks for three days while the flies are laying eggs, and then we harvest the eggs on the third day so that they hatch the next day. And you usually don't see them. Let me see if I can get another one. Each one of those are, are a couple days different. This one's. couple days younger than the other one so the first one might be about a, a week old maybe I don't know because these ones are younger now we've watched them hatch and we'll take them out of the incubator and what we found is uh, if they're not generating their own heat they'll stop growing real fast so we'll keep them in the incubator until they start generating heat and then we'll take them out. I mean, 100,000 larvae, they'll start generating heat pretty quick. But these guys, yeah, these guys are definitely a few days younger than the other ones. These ones here are probably ready to come out. We will probably take them out today or tomorrow. Plus, they in this here, they, with the heat, they grow really fast. So they outgrow these little containers. Now this one, yeah, this I think was put in a day and a half ago. And we noticed right away that the, there wasn't enough compost in there. And it was drying up really, really quick. Now there's a bunch of eggs. And then there's still eggs inside these little containers. Or blocks of cardboard. There's, there's some right there. We're in the middle of a fly hatching, so right now our flies are not as many as we would like. But in another week, we've got about 30,000 uh, pupa hatching for the next batch, and we'll have tons and tons of larvae after that. Yeah, these ones, these ones aren't hatching yet. So anyway, I just wanted to show you a little incubator we did because it, it does help your egg hatch. But if you keep your cardboard in your bin or, or your blocks where your eggs are, if you keep it in the bin where the larvae are, they generate heat up to the eggs and they will probably hatch just as fast. We are just, we separate our eggs so they, we have distinct larvae at certain ages uh, for people who want larvae. Yeah, this is cool. I mean, there is just tons in here. I'll show you one that's a little older before I end this video. You know, another thing to, to let you see here, 
is that we uh, we had doors on this incubator and when we closed the doors it got too humid and we'd get about 20 30,000 larvae climbing up on the walls because of the humidity so we put this towel in front instead of closing the doors and it dries out a little bit but it doesn't get too humid and it's easier to add moisture than it is to catch 20,000 larvae Now these guys, there were so many in this bin that we've separate, we've divided it twice, and they're still still a hundred thousand larvae in this bin at least, probably closer to one hundred and fifty thousand. And the more we divide them, the fewer larvae in a bin, the faster they will grow. These guys go through food in, in an hour. Um, if, if we gave enough food to make them grow their, at their maximum rate, we would be filling this bin up in a day. But these are just temporary bins. Once they get bigger, we'll put them in a bin where they can crawl out to pupate. 